Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle, the Brampton Gardener, and today is Plant of the Week. So today's Plant of the Week, episode two, is all about hollyhock. Now hollyhocks are a biennial or a short-lived perennial and they do say that one of the ways that you can extend the life of your uh, plant is to cut off the blooms after it's done blooming. So today I'll be out with the pruners and I'll be cutting back quite a few of the blooms but I'm going to leave a few because I definitely want to get some seeds that I can swap and share and of course give away for this channel. So don't forget to like subscribe and click that notification bell comment below I will be doing a giveaway for some lucky viewer so this is my little hollyhock patch and she's actually looking a little sad right now she's almost done blooming but I did pick it because it was absolutely amazing this year and I'm gonna have a lot of seeds from it so that's really exciting so I planted these last year and they got nice and big and leafy green and then this year was their first year blooming for most of them but I did have one that mysteriously bloomed last year and two things with that one. That one I winter sowed, the others I had grown inside. I only had one that came up in the winter sowing container and it also got chewed back by the bunnies like to the ground. I thought it was done and gone and it came back and it got chewed down again and then it came back again and it managed to bloom last year. So I'll show you some pictures of that and some footage of that. And I also have some footage of it when she was blooming in her prime and she was absolutely stunning. So like I said, it blooms in its uh, second year. So that means that this year, knowing that I was gonna be getting a lot of blooms off of this one, it's called red, but it's kind of a hot pink red color. I also winter sowed a bunch of new hollyhocks. And if you wanna know more about that, I do have some in my winter sowing video and I showed them in my winter sowing um, reveal video and there were a few that actually hadn't sprouted and I was kind of bummed out but then I just set the, the containers aside and like three or four weeks later I went and I looked and I was like oh they all sprouted so I have planted up into this bed um, a few of the other colors which I can't remember offhand right now but those ones are growing right now they're still pretty small and they will be the ones blooming next year so hopefully I'll get another year of blooms off of these big red ones we shall see so i will be out uh, i'll give it a little bit of a prune and uh, i do have one growing in the front yard and i honestly did not think that that one was going to come back at all this year because it got chewed down by rabbits it was completely gone like you never even saw it all summer long so i was shocked when i saw the leaves on that um this spring so that was a really happy surprise <laughs> watching I really do appreciate any of the subscriptions and don't forget to comment below so you can win some seeds so you can see by all of these seed pods left here just how many blooms this plant did have she really really put on a show this year and then you can see down here I have some small ones that are going to be lovely lovely plants next year so I'm just going to take the seed I'm just going to take the flower stalks off I'm gonna just do it down here where it's nice and neat below a leaf. I'm just gonna do that on all the ones that are no longer blooming. Don't worry, I'll still have plenty of seeds. Each one of these has tons of seeds. So this is what the seed pod is gonna look like. And then inside, you can see they're not ripe yet, but you can see they all have these little sliced, it's like little slices and they will brown and dry in there. Oh, these ones are getting a little closer. And uh, yeah, and then you just take them out and you put them on a paper plate or I'm gonna be putting them on a uh, sheet in my dehydrator but not turning it on just kind of a place for them to sit and dry out and then i'll be packing them up uh, to store for winter 